Hey everyone and welcome to my video on wall stretches. I'm Cheryl and this video is suitable for dancers, athletes or anyone hoping to improve their flexibility. All you need is an empty space, a free wall and perhaps a mat or a rug to lie on. Now, as a reminder, anyone doing this video should be sure that your body is already warm and ready to stretch. The biggest mistake I see people making is going straight into stretching without making sure that their body is warm. And this is not only dangerous because you can cause injury, but it's also not very effective. So please make sure that you've done enough exercise that your body feels warm, your circulation is moving, I would recommend at least 10 minutes of continuous exercise, and then it's safe to stretch. So let's get started. So we're going to do the first exercise standing. And this exercise is targeted at that space in our lower back where we have an arch. Now it's natural for everybody to have a little bit of a curve here. But what happens day after day of doing dance class with this arch or doing your exercise or even standing, let's say if you have a job that requires you to stand for many hours, it can cause this curve to become more and can cause these muscles to be very tense and compacted. So this stretch is targeted at helping you stretch and elongate the muscles of your lower back. So we're actually going to stand against the wall and I want you to put your feet out from the wall far enough that your back is flat. So you go and stand against the wall and you move your feet out until you feel that your back is flat against the wall. For me it's about 18 inches away from the wall. If your back is flat by being 12 inches away from the wall that's okay too. So feel where you need to go with your feet so that your back is comfortably flat against the wall. That's the first step. And then we're going to roll down gradually, starting from the head. And the point here is to try and peel off your back one vertebrae at a time. And you want to try and engage your abdominal muscles to pull in and against the wall so that you can gradually roll down. And we're going to do that three times. We're going to roll down, touch our feet, and roll back up. When you roll back up, try your hardest to touch every vertebrae from the bottom one by one as you roll up and head is the last thing to come up. All right, so here we go, starting from the head, very relaxed, abs engaged, and we roll down. Try to peel off one vertebrae at a time, very gradually. Feel it go one by one, come off of the wall. Roll down, touch your feet. And then we're going to come back up, starting from the base of the spine, touching the vertebrae one at a time. So think of it as starting from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? So we're going to do that two more times. But I'd like to explain one thing about coming back up. Now, it is normal that when you bend down, you probably felt like this piece of your back wants to come off the wall and go back on the wall in one piece. That is normal. But what we're striving for is to try and bend that part as much as possible using your abs. You want to think belly button in and roll up one by one and try to separate and pull up and elongate as you roll down and back up. All right, so just to give you a closer look at what I'm referring to about the back wanting to come off in one piece, let's take a look from the side. So as I roll down, my feet are 
out from the wall about 18 inches, and as I roll down, look what happens. I'm pretty flexible in my back, but when I get to about here, then the next part is almost like the whole thing wants to come off in one piece. That is normal. That is because we lack flexibility in this region of the spine. But this exercise is supposed to target that and to help you think about separating each vertebrae using your abs and then stretching the whole thing and putting space in between each vertebrae. So I want you to keep that in mind and we're going to do it one more time while we concentrate on trying to bend that part of your back as we go down and back up. And here we go. And head starts first. No tension. One vertebrae at a time. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Now this is where I have to engage my abs even more and attempt to do one vertebrae at a time. I'm trying to feel each vertebrae. And I'm down. Then I'm going to come back up. Once again, touching, starting from the bottom. One vertebrae at a time bottom of your spine, using your abs to pull you against the wall. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more times. So here we go. Feet are away from the wall. We're comfortably flat against the wall. And we go. Head first. Nice and slow, engaging your abs, relax your shoulders, no tension, roll down. This isn't the place where it wants to come off in one piece, but try and concentrate on making one vertebrae come off the wall at a time. Then you're down, and then we start back up from the base, one vertebrae at a time. Use your abs, pull against the wall, stretch, elongate, and up, and when you get up, you should feel a little bit taller. Last time, once more, back is flat, so I should not be able to put my hand between my back and the wall, right? I'm completely flat, and here we go, last time, slowly, head, roll down, one by one, pulling off the vertebrae, one by one, not in one piece, as much as possible, pull in the stomach, and we're down. And last, let's roll back up. Let's touch the wall one vertebrae at a time, starting from the base. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so the next stretch we're going to do is a double hamstring stretch against a piece of clear wall. Okay, so you can just go down to the floor and you put your feet against the wall and you just slowly inch yourself closer until your butt is against the wall. And then you're going to move in so that you can push yourself against your legs. And you're going to stay there for as long as you can. So I'm going to put the timer and I'm going to put it for 30 seconds and you're going to stay in that position. So, are we ready? Here we go. Make sure you're breathing. If you feel like you could go closer, you can push yourself up gently with your hands. Relax your head into your legs and stay there. So we have about five more seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, so rest and shake your legs. Just take a minute to relax, and we're going to do it again for another 30 seconds. So here we go. I'm going to put the timer, and then we'll extend. Are we ready? Three, two, one, start. Sure to stretch your legs, point your feet, head close to 
your legs. Try to inch yourself closer if you feel safe doing that. If it feels okay, if this hurts, please don't stay in the position. Make sure you're breathing in and out. And that's another 30 seconds. So just bend your legs, relax, maybe shake it out a little bit, take a rest, and let's go to the next stretch. All right, so the next stretch we're going to do is the straddle. So please grab hold of your mat or your towel or your rug so that you can lie comfortably on the floor. And we're going to go against the wall, like before, butt against the wall, lie down, and gently let your legs fall open to what is a comfortable position for you. So here we're letting the gravity gradually pull our legs down and help us in the stretch. So I'm going to put the timer for one minute and we're going to stay in this position and relax. Here we go, one minute starting now. So deep breaths in and out, relax. Feel the gravity pulling your legs gently down to the floor. If you feel comfortable, you can let your legs open one inch here, one inch there. Gently relax. Now, you should not feel pain. If it's hurting you, please don't stay in this position. There's a little bit of discomfort, which is normal, a little bit of tension, a little bit of discomfort. But if it's painful, then please um, don't do this for too long. Just come out of the position when it hurts. All right, so just lie there and relax. Deep breath in and out. In and out. That's one minute, very good. So let's bring our legs in gently. Bring your legs in. Oh, that hurts. Okay, bend them in. And just hug your knees to your chest and let's rock side to side to loosen them. Rock side to side. All right, so we're going to do this again. Now put the timer for 30 seconds. So we'll get in position. Straddle. Open out to where it's comfortable for you. And here's the timer. Here we go. One minute. So deep breath in and out. No position in your feet, no tension, no pointing, no flexing. Just relax your feet. And just let the gravity pull your legs down slowly and gradually to where it's comfortable for you. Deep breath in and out. Adjustment. If you feel like your legs want to open more, that's what we're striving for. So if they want to go down farther, let them go. while you're in straddle, you don't think about how much you're actually stretching. 
your body won't concentrate on all the pain it's feeling, but you'll uh, just be thinking about whatever else you're doing, whether it's reading a book or talking to someone. So, try it. All right, so last but not least, we are going to do the split against the wall. So, the way to get in the position is go with your feet about two feet away from the wall and then down to the floor. Then you're going to put one leg up on the wall, slowly and gradually, and then you're going to walk yourself, use your hands, and walk yourself slowly back till you're against the wall, or almost against the wall, to whatever is comfortable for you. And then you stay in the stretch. Stay, stay, stay.